I know each of insecurity will be things of the past. Let's turn our attention to these unfortunate incidents in River State where scores of people were in the early hours of Friday morning killed when an explosion occurred at a crude oil bunkering site at Remoipe community in Omoha local government area. A spark came from a bus loaded with crude oil for transportation to the refining point, a development that resulted into fire and explosion. The River State Police Command is yet to issue any statement on the incident. Now, 80 selected internally displaced. All right, let's um, bring you up to speed with uh, the latest story from River State. We have our correspondent, uh, Uche Okoro, uh, live for us from Port Harcourt. Uche, what more do we know about this incident? Uh, well, we know that um, so far uh, about 12 persons have been confirmed dead and born beyond recognition, in fact, because I tried to verify uh, the genders of uh, the victims so far, and I was told that the victims were born beyond recognition. That's according to the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps. This very unfortunate incident happened at, at about 2 a.m. today, in the very early hours of the morning, in Ruwekwe um, community, Emoha, a local government area, one of the local governments that are, I, I must say, notorious for uh, these illegal activities in, in the state. Um, a very hot bed uh, of, of these particular activities in, in River State. This is not the first time, isn't the, the second or even the third time this is happening in the last one year in that particular community room uh, I if, if you recall, um, at about this, at about um, April, May 2022, um, TVC News, we braved um, the journey to the interior of that community to um, this particular uh, area where you have these activities ongoing. And we reported, we did, we, we, uh, we did an investigative report in that particular area, but focusing on the environmental impact of these activities. It is really sad to me, particularly because um, about less than one year later, we're having another major tragedy coming out of that particular community. It's a, it, it, it's a sad one, something that the authorities need to look into. As I've mentioned, it is happening in an area that is known to be notorious for these activities. Unfortunately, 12 persons so far, according to the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, have paid the ultimate price um, for that criminal activity. Very sad incident, that, just like you said there, as on Port Harcourt. Uh, thank you so much. Keep close tabs on these for us. Thank you very much indeed. Now, uh, 80 